The stage. Can we talk about the festival stage? Yes. Because it's a unique space. It's a magic space for me. But it's your living room. And you, perhaps more than anyone, have spent more time. What is it about that structure that supports you as an actor? Years ago, when I was a tiny child, I was, I would be just about five or six years old at this time. I spent a lot of time with my aunt in Hamilton. She brought me up for about the first six years of my life. And uh, I remember one afternoon, I must have been four or five, I'd been playing with, I think, some clothes pegs and for some strange reason decided to hide them. Maybe I felt I shouldn't have been playing with them, so I decided to hide them someplace so that they, they wouldn't find out that I'd been playing with them. And they came home and uh, my, and they couldn't find the clothes pegs, so they wanted to hang some washing. And my aunt, and they looked all over, and finally my aunt said to her husband, my uncle, said, Bill will tell us where they are, because Bill always tells the truth. I have never, never forgotten that. And it's one of the things that I always do on stage. I always tell the truth. And that stage that you asked me about is perfect because it not only allows you to tell the truth, it demands that you tell the truth. You cannot do, um, you can, you cannot do a false gesture or a, f or a false reading or a false note in your voice on that stage because you detect it immediately. It's detected immediately. Because of the of, sorry, architecture, because of the platform at places the you want, that you're, or you're you're totally exposed. In other words, uh, to carry it to its ludicrous extremes, you're naked. You might as well go out on that stage and say and be naked because you. I say I'm I am naked because when I'm acting on the stage, I am naked. I am totally exposed. Can't hide behind a proscenium arch. Uh, I can't do all sorts of things that one does in a proscenium art stage, like uh, tell the audience, look, this is a funny line. You can do that behind a proscenium art. You can't do that on that festival stage because they'll say, no, that's, that's a phony. That's phony. Mm -hmm. A lot of the audience won't know that it's phony. They will just say, something's not right there. Not so, that's, so that the space itself allows you as I say, not only allows you, but demands that you be absolutely honest. And, 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 and I, I say on the, on the other side of the coin that a lot of young actors, they don't know they're being dishonest because they haven't got enough technique yet. Right. They think they're being absolutely honest, and God bless them, they are as far as they're concerned. But they don't know that there's a, a, a greater truth uh, that that involves a certain amount of technique to to expose think, the truth. Yes. Do you think that Tanya Mozeyevich and Tyrone Guthrie, when they were evolving that version of the stage, had that in mind? No. So that's a I wonderful don't. byproduct of their design. Is what I think what they had in mind was let's let's uh, just quite simply let's it's it's, it's something that Tony Guthrie had in mind anyway, long time before he came to Canada. He always wanted to do a Shakespearean play on a stage roughly like the Elizabethan stage at the time that Shakespeare wrote his play. He wrote, Shakespeare wrote his plays for a stage like that. Mm -hmm. So that there wouldn't be, you know, a lot of scenery going up and down and back and forth. And it was, it was all costume. And uh, that's why a lot of Shakespeare's plays are wonderful for film because they move from one scene to another with, with such alacrity. Mm -hmm. And the space does make the actor naked for those wonderful reasons, but mm -hmm. when I sit in it as an audience member, it feels so comfortable Good. and so warm in closing and ready, so to mm -hmm. speak. That's all, that's all part of the design. The, the, the theater is designed to do that. In other words, it's the, the architect was brilliant in that nobody even today, with all the renovations, 
Nobody is seating, seats, is seating any further away than 65 feet from the stage.